everybody. It's Amy Rich with project number six of the 12 projects of Christmas 2022. We are using products again from the July to December 2022 mini catalog. And this time we're going to use a product that I'm super familiar with because I've been working with it a lot since July. It is the Santa Express Suite. And actually what we're going to do today for, for project number six is using the Memories and More card pack here in the center and then just a couple of pieces of the designer series paper. Let's take a closer look. Oh, and one more thing. Um, the Charming Landscapes embossing folders as well. So these are small enough to fit in the stamp mini stamp and cut emboss machine and I am using um, just the one with the houses here I don't know if, if you can see that and just a tiny piece of cardstock um, embossed with that embossing folder so it's going to be a fun project let's take a look at the designer series paper a little bit more closely this is a kind of a snapshot of all of the pieces in the pack so we've got pieces, um, this particular piece here even has dies that coordinate, so you can cut that out with dies. And the dies, of course, also cut out images from the stamp set. So it is a dual duty die set when you can cut out different pieces. It also cuts out the train cars of this designer series paper as well. But we're gonna use this one down here and the one right next to it. So these are the two that we're going to incorporate into our project today, which is going to be a piece of framed art. Now framed art can be super intimidating, but I'm going to show you in the project today that just using the memories and more card pack makes it really simple. So let's bring those cards in from the card pack so that you can see what that is all about. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six different small three by four cards from the card pack. And if you caught me on Facebook um, back on November 1st, 2022, I created 10 cards with the card pack. I um, used some ideas from other demonstrators as well as my own to create um, just regular greeting cards with these. And of course you can use them for memory keeping as well, but there are multiples of each one so that you can make, there are six um, of the same card together in the pack, so that you can make multiple projects with, um, of the same, you know, with the same cards. So then on the flip side, there are of course really fun designs as well. And then the card pack also comes with some adhesive die cuts, also known as stickers. And then some wood elements, which, I mean, not real wood, but these are wood elements that you can color and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then some, even some uh, window sheet pieces that you can layer, very cute. They're all, these are all uh, four by six cards. And then I cut this one in half. We're gonna use that one uh, in our project today. And then there are lots of four by six cards that are printed as well. So all of these make putting together a card or a scrapbook page or framed art, super simple. So I'm just gonna show you the back sides of each of these. So you can see all of the great possibilities and then we're gonna get started. I'm excited. Let's start with a piece of the designer series paper and we're gonna put it in an eight by 10 frame. So that's what I have cut this DSP at. So we've got eight inches here and 10 inches on the side. And then here are some of the pieces we are going to use. So the snowflakes here that I've cut out are from a different die set. And then we've got the Charming Landscapes embossing folder on here, which is, look at how cute that is. <laughs> and then the Winter Wonderland uh, wood elements. And remember when I told you we cut the, I cut the snowflake window sheet in half? Here's the half. And then keep in mind, there is a film on the back that you need, or maybe it's on the front, that you need to peel off before using. Otherwise it looks cloudy. 
And then we've got some cards from the card pack. So the Let It Snow, I've been dying to use this. So this is perfect for, for this project. And then this one here is also very pretty. I love that one. And then just a few pieces of petal pink and basic white cardstock. So really just simple supplies. And I wanted to show you how to make a framed art piece that really is not very intimidating. So taking this card, I am going to use a piece of um, six and an eighth by four and an eighth basic white card stack and cutting it an eighth inch bigger than than the card from the card pack is that backside pretty too <laughs> we will have just that little white border that makes this pop off the page just a little bit more rather than just adhering it um, to our background piece so we're going to layer this up here in the left-hand corner, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to see all of the pieces and how they work together. Next, we're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it at three inches. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer and cut that in half at three inches. Now you can use the other half uh, on another project, but we are just going to use the three by four here for this project today. And then grabbing a piece of petal pink that is cut three and an eighth by four and an eighth, we've got the same type of situation as the other one where we've got that just little tiny border on the side. So this one now is going to go up here in this corner. So this is why I wanted to check out, you know, the layering before we adhered it down because we want to see the borders. Next up, we're going to bring in that window sheet. And this one gets a little bit tricky because we're going to want to add adhesive so that it goes on the pink, which will make it really pop. So this petal pink piece, of course, again, is cut three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive and liquid glue in this case to some of these white areas of the snowflake snowflakes. I think that was my Minnesota accent popping out right there. <laughs> I'm told I have one. So it's funny when people I'm, you know, I, when I go to on stage and stuff every once in a while, I'll find somebody who watches me on YouTube and, and she'll say, I can so tell you're from Minnesota. Anyway, um, we're going to add that then to our petal pink layer and you can see then that I was really careful with the adhesive so you can't really tell where it was which is nice and then of course it will dry clear so that if it does squeak out of there um, it will be fine and that piece is going to go approximately here and we'll get that settled in just a little bit and then I told you I was going to use this piece of DSP as well so I have a little strip here with a landscape and I'm going to cut a three inch piece off, which just so happens to be the exact size of that strip. So lining it up at three inches, I'm going to cut that off. See how it cuts that strip right off. And then I'm going to cut this down. So then I'm going to make it into a three by three square like this. Now I'll bring in a piece of three and an eighth by three and an eighth petal pink cardstock. And then once again, you've got that beautiful border on there. Look at how easily this comes together when you're using all pre-printed pieces from the Memories and More card pack. I think it's fabulous. All right, and then we've got this beautiful landscape. And I'm going to bring in the adhesive die cuts. And I'm going to peel it all off, but only actually use a little bit. So I'm going to put this in the in the corner. I'm actually going to make it just a little bit wider so that we're going to cut right on the scallop because it'll look nicer that way. All right, so then we're going to adhere that down at the bottom and we'll overlap the edges just a little bit because of those. I wanted those even scallops. Cute. And then that's, that piece is going to go down here in the corner. So lots of fun little winter snowscapes here that we are going to adhere together. Now, one thing I am going to say about frames. Usually, 
um, there's a little bit of extra frame that overlaps the edge. So we're gonna we're gonna squeeze these in just a little bit more so that we have everything away from those edges, which gives us a little bit better of a chance that we're gonna see that background a little bit more. So something like that is probably gonna be pretty good. All right, so let's start adhering. Starting at the top left, and we're gonna get this into place, and then it'll be easier to get everything else into place around that. So the idea is we want just to line up all of our pieces. This piece here measures one and three quarters by three and an eighth. And I want to lift this one up again because it, um, there are three pieces here. It a little it allows for a little bit bigger border there between the two. Now let's bring in our winter wonderland, and we're going to ink that up with some petal pink ink. So I'm going to flip flip this over and push it in to the ink, and I'm just going to use my bone folder so that I don't get my fingers in there, which I probably will end up doing anyway. <laughs> just because that's the way it goes. So we've got we've got a pink winter and now we'll do the same to Wonderland. So I'll just push that into the ink and make sure later when you go to use your bone folder you have that cleaned off. I keep a towel here all the time and that's um, what I will use to clean it off. And if you see the that there are some spots you want to get some better ink just go back in and do it a little more. Because this is a water-based ink, it's gonna dry more quickly, but I am gonna set it aside. And then we're gonna take those wood elements and we're gonna pop out the word snow. And I just wanted to do this <clears throat> on camera. I didn't do that with the Winter Wonderland, but I wanted to do it on camera so you could see that you can just use a, um, Paper piercer, the take your pick tool would be great, but as some of you know, mine disappeared a little while ago and I haven't been able to find it yet. Since my retreat on October 1st, I'm sad to say. Um, all right, so there's the word snow and I'm going to bring in my white craft pad. Now take note that this is an old one, so it opens funny. And then you're gonna do the snow in the white ink. So cool that you can do this to these wood elements. So now it's white on that side. Now the thing about the white ink is that is a, it is a pigment ink and will take longer to dry. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in my silicone craft sheet and we're gonna put that snow on there and use my heat tool at the low setting. Did you know our heat tools have two settings? It's kind of fabulous. And then I'm just gonna um, dry this. It takes a little bit of time, but dry this before I use it on my, my page. And for use on this project, I also popped up, popped out a couple of the snowflakes to use on it and I colored them white as well. So now let's bring our page back in and start putting these elements together. So I'm gonna start with Wonderland and I'm just gonna use my liquid glue. You could also use glue dots. Um, those are a little bit big. You'd have to roll them to put them behind. I prefer the liquid glue and I just kind of brush that liquid glue carefully over the back of my letters. And remember it dries clear. So if it seeps out the edges, you, it's gonna be okay. And I'm going to um, put that right down here so it overlaps a couple of the sections. And then grab the winter and add that as well. And put that right up above it. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna add the snow. Okay, and it I see in a couple spots it's a little bit wet yet. It takes a little bit of extra time to dry when it's not on paper because the paper helps. It's a little bit more porous and helps soak it in a little bit. But the wood 
elements I'm going to be super careful with here so that I don't get it all over my fingers, which will then end up on the rest of the project because I know myself. <laughs> and then we're going to add these two snowflakes. And those two snowflakes are cut using the celebration tag dies. You can see that little snowflake right there. So we're just going to add these with a glue dot because that is super simple. Just one glue dot right in the middle and then it's ready to add. So I'm gonna add one down here in the white section. And the other one we'll add up here. And then I'm going to bring in the snowflakes. So you'll see this one, <laughs> this one had a little bit of a casualty. Well, I saved it because we can do some surgery on that. So I'm going to add these on with some liquid glue again. So to create the, to do the surgery, we'll just add adhesive onto that little piece and stick it back where it belongs. And it's like it never happened. Don't tell. <laughs> and then we'll add the little ones on as well. So fun. Now let's add it to our frame. So these frames I purchased last year. You can see my you can see my light here. Um, these frames I purchased last year for a class that I had, and I had a couple left over. So I'm just going to flip this over and add my back. And then you can see what a cute <laughs> conversation piece that makes. And you can see we did leave enough of a border of that shaded spruce uh, designer series paper that you can see it around those edges. So thanks for joining me for project number six. I look forward to sharing more with you this holiday season, and I'll see you again very soon with project number seven. Music